Hello, and we're back once again. We're, ne we're, we're sort of near nearing the end, I think. I think. Uh, I don't know. Hi, Deadlock. Hello. Deadlock would know if we are closer to the end or not. I do not know for certain. There's still a little ways before we reach the end, but mm -hmm. as far as actually getting to it, it depends on how well we're actually able to meet the challenges. Yep. Well, first things first, we're going to knock this out real quick because I did get the King Slime that we were required to get for the, the ninth mission. I know I don't Andy have the gold. Cleric. What? Does he? Andy has Cleric. Well, it don't matter. Um, we are going to knock that out. I know I don't have enough gold for the 10th mission yet. And Just... it's honestly the simplest one. The simplest mission. One you probably hit. You probably have the answer right on you. Positive puller. Oh, that's the the positive staff you were talking about. No, that no. We already have it now. What that does is that if we encounter use it and then encounter monsters in the field, they will be guaranteed to be positive. Oh, that's pretty helpful too. However, that isn't consumable, unfortunately. It is consumable? Yeah. That's dumb. Hey, there's more opportunities to get more. Okay, so we need a thousand gold for that last one, so as soon as we get a thousand... What? I am vastly superior to you. Go away. Oh, I just want to check one thing real quick before I forget. Okay, never mind. We are good. Anyway, but now we can go back to the, the island. Again. Again. And this time we'll go beat the guy for real. I'm pretty sure I have all the equipment set already. Yeah, rune staff, steel broadsword, sacred spear. I did not grind out money. So... So, resources might be an issue. Yeah, but we should be fine for the most part. Should, being the keyword. King Slime, or, or King Cure Slime, uh, does know multi heal at least, so. I uh, mean, uh, Bubble Slime. King, yeah, whatever. If you want to go to the other jetties, so we're like right next to this if we do for whatever reason fail. <laughs> Oh, oh hey, save time. Hmm. Nice. Uh, I don't think we will, but honestly, it's probably not a bad idea. Hey, just having multi heal is a good option. It's not right. on the heal, but it's still good. <laughs> Some options are options, and I have what I have. I can only control so much. His cleric never came up. It was never an option for him. I think you said you had it, but then you got rid of it accidentally. No, I said I thought I might have, but I did not. Because mm -hmm. if he would have evolved later, he would have popped up as an option. It just didn't. Yeah, he because he doesn't. The only ways to get him are to fuse four slabs together, or as you've already found out, to catch it. <laughs> I did fuse the two metal slimes to like, make a metal to make. A, what? Where are you going? said to go down to the other side. I I meant literally just take the jetty and you would have been by a freaking scout's den if we were able to fail. That's literally our way forward. Oh, you mean... Okay, well. I forgot, is it this? Yeah, 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 this is where we have to go. Yeah, we have to go through this guy. It's been like two or three weeks. I don't fully remember. This what is we say? Holidays are busy. <laughs> yeah, it's just, this is just after Christmas, but right before New Year's, so... It's a busy time. I, I might no. I'm not even gonna finish that. That was horrible. <laughs> um, I, yeah, I don't know where you're going with that. Whatever. I, it was. I forgot what this was. was. It was a dragon. Right oh, it was, it was the mech dragon, right? Oh no, the regular one. Nope, nope, just a gold dragon. Hmm. Just a gold dragon. In D and D, this well, is one of the strongest things you can fight. A great dragon. Hmm. Either way. 
Okay. So you do your thing. Uh, yeah, you know what? Just just fight, and I want to see what they all start off doing, what they feel like is necessary. Well, it's always good to let our killing machine to do work of their own volition, as you can see why. <laughs> Because he has a fun little trait that if we do not command him, he attacks twice. Which is very handy. <laughs> yeah. He was a uh, he's he's a good he was a good pick. Oh no, our slime went wow, thirty nine damage. I'm actually surprised it did that much. And Ow. However, we are still chipping away at this guy's quite large health pool. <laughs> I feel like we got pretty close last time. But I don't know for certain. Ow. Multi heal. Ow. Yeah, no, we're, we're doing fine. For now. We're just good. We actually now have healing to take on the large breath attacks he has. The turn order was not in our favor, though. He could have killed something if he didn't attack the slime. I think our merman was the weakest right at that moment. Hey, don't knock it. He does not like our merman, apparently. I'm not sure why. It's not the oh. thing that's doing the most damage to him. It's not. I guess it is the easiest thing to take down. The robot is just... I didn't realize he had the double attack, but the double attack is doing really good. Yeah, that that's one of the reasons why I say he's actually like a good monster to have. There are a few other monsters that can have that trait also. But he's this person in my favorite. He's doing a hundred per turn with or around a hundred per turn without any buffs. Yes. Now imagine if we got him buffs. <laughs> Like, imagine if we gave him, like, techniques that could give him, like, say, oom for do more, like, actual damage. We can actually use that MP pool of his. Hey, look hey. at that, he did. That, that was almost no effort. There was a brief moment where we were in danger, but we got lucky. That's a lot of experience. Yes. Yes, it is. And then we got now the gold. We, to invest. <laughs> we got the, the gold we need for the last mission, so we'll run back over there. <laughs> Uh, what are you? Uh, oh, you're gonna turn into a lizard. Time the ancient pact has been honored. Let the rite of the holy transformation begin. Now give me the power of Grey Skull. Power to halt the great catastrophe. No. Please don't look stupid. Eh, it's like half stupid. Behold my transformation to Holy uh, Di Dimagon is complete. With this newfound strength, I shall conquer all who stand in our way. Now, nothing can stop us from collecting the Darkonium you see. I already have a, have them all, bro. Still, I wonder. Why do they ask you to collect Darkonium? It's a worthless rock, notable only for containing large quantities of dark matter. Dark matter is, a, is the monster's lifeblood. Oh, jeez. The evil crystal thing is evil, probably. So it's their strength, the very root of their being. It's just human, so I collect it. Now forgive me, we don't have time for idle speculation. For then science. We, then we will, go to, we will go to the final shrine. Be resolute, my young friend. I still choose to believe that everyone in this, in this is evil. Oh, when I was grinding, it was weird. One of the cutscenes played again. Um, It was the one talking to the rival character. In the in the entrance. Yeah, funny, funny story. That actually didn't happen when you first came back there. That would explain why it happened when I did when I went there. Yeah, it, it was there for when you returned. That was weird. It threw me off. So unfortunately, it did yeah, not get on that recording. But it, it, threw me, it threw me off when I first got to. It. It was like, wait, what? Why yeah. wasn't here sooner? <laughs> yeah. No. Um. I wonder if it was all she, when you were leaving, but just like evac or whatever. Just, I don't know. Just, like, I mean, all she. All she really said. Oh wait, you know what? I can just zoom back. Zoom. I mean, all she really said was, "Get fucked." I hate you. Yeah, pretty much. 
I mean, that honestly was the extent of what she said to us. Yeah, she's kind of rude. Mm. People on uh, Twitter, are, there's a fight over uh, rivals now because people were saying they wanted mean rivals and then, or and they wanted good rivals. But people are like, you got mean and good rivals with Nomona and, and uh, what's what's the girl named Carmine, in the DLC. I forget. I cannot speak of the latter, but the former is actually pretty decent. I love Nomona. She is one of my favorites, if not my favorite. Carmine, I can I understand. I understand why people don't like her, though. Mm, no. If you say it's because she pops up too much, she pops up almost as much as the other rivals do, for the most part. I mean, she pops up once a gym, which is kind of predictable. Which, I mean, hey, when there's three separate stories, that's not that often. It's I mean, often yeah, for her enough, story. Compare that to say, like... Blue, Wait. where he, you did not know it, like, if he was your first time playing through, where he was gonna show up. His spots just seemed random. Alright, let's go see what this is about. But then again, considering who she is, it makes sense that she would be jumping you right at the, like, the gym and stuff. Alright, what's our, what's the 10th proficiency test? Bring me a rank A monster. Oh. Like I said, straightforward. <laughs> yeah, no, I have, literally, our merman is a rank A, I'm pretty sure. That was a oh. King Slime. <laughs> oh, yeah. Huh. Your reward, rather dangerous looking uh, pair of metal talons. That could actually be useful for grinding later because. If you could tell by the name itself, they are effective against metal slimes. I just realized, like, that's what they're for. Um, I wonder if any of our but guys. They're still a high damage weapon, still, even without that fact. Yeah, I was gonna say, let me see. Let me see if. I don't know if he can take it, but I'll give it a shot. Uh, nope. nope. Yeah, not. Uh, there may be we a chance. Have of he... anyone that take it. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm, I I might not, but it's worth it. Nope. Nope. Uh, I doubt it, but I'll look. I mean, we'd rather him have the enhanced magic, though. Oh, yeah. Not a bad increase if I can get something with it. Then. All right. So that's done. Now we can move on to the second island. To, well, the last island, essentially. Which we briefly were at for a bit. I captured, like... Oh, hello. Condor! You son of you a bitch. To him. Yeah, I've caught him. Get out of here. Ow. I love how slow the slime attacks. It does so much damage, though. Hey, he's a good boy. It's nice to finally get near the end. We were, we were running... We were catching up to our, uh, our upload dates, which currently is, I think, January 19th. Because I made... I got something done, so I made a little bit of space. What did I do that I finished? I know I did Final Fantasy... I finished Final Fantasy VIII. Um, How was that, by the way? It, I don't think it was as bad as people say it was, but I think the two main problems come from the draw system, because the draw system's just bad in combination with everything else. And and I think everything being the same level as you is kind of annoying. Because then what's the point of leveling up? <laughs> yeah, because it increases your stats, but what, what does that matter when... Everything else is getting higher stats, too, as you level up. Yeah. So, I think those are, like, the two main problems. The story wasn't the best, but it wasn't bad. Maybe like, a little... I mean, yeah, you maybe a new, like, abilities, but that's literally... At that point, that's all leveling up does. I will say the... the it did get a little convoluted. Um, where there's some time travel shenanigans, and this person's trying oh, to compress... Yeah, they're trying to, like, compress time. They're existing in the future and the past at the same time. It was very confusing. Uh, how much is the weapons here? I just want to see. I don't think I... I, I think I have some money in here. Probably not much. But... I mean, oh. you... That's not a... That's not a bad amount. No, but I don't think it's enough to really grab anything worthwhile. 
I don't think so either. I think you need a few more thousand to actually afford anything. Yeah, let's just, um, yeah. Let's see. Dragon's Bane. Yeah, four. Yeah. Four thousand seven hundred. Uh. Dragon Lance. Like, yeah, most of you be able to get the Woodcutter's Axe, but I don't know what you have that up. Yeah, like, I guess yeah. literally anything. Um, but I'd rather. Yeah, I'd rather just save up for the. Prob I'd probably just save for the Dragon's Lance, honestly. Yeah. I think there's I... actually a weapon on this island that would actually be beneficial too. Oh boy. That's usually how these things go. But yeah, no, Final Fantasy VIII wasn't that bad. Although, I definitely didn't. I definitely made it harder myself, but whatever. Harder how? Right. Um, well, I didn't really grind or anything, and I used the speed up. I used a lot of things to make the game easier, in a way. And it definitely hurt me against a good portion of the bosses. Because mm. um, I was more just trying to get through it, just to finish it up, because I've been sitting on it for two years. Yeah, about uh, time to just like, get it done. Does yeah, I, I, Adrian's going to be pissed at me because I didn't finish it with her, but I'll deal with that later. Oh, yeah, I imagine that. I thought you were going to do that with them, but... Well, eh. Yeah, well, listen, I just wanted to get it done... I'll hear, I'll hear about it for a little bit, and then Chris will never fucking let it go, because he never lets anything go. And that'll be the end of it. The elephant never forgets. So, neither does the annoying person. And the crow will pester you for it. I'm assuming not, you... Not, 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 that, not that crow, I mean, like, the animal. <laughs> I, I thought you... By that, I thought you meant MJ. No. Because MJ would, too. MJ gave me some shit because I told him about it, too. But I was like, I don't care. I just want it done. And I did. Yeah, I got it done. After, like, so long of just not being able to get it done, like, you just want it done and done with so you can move on. I think if they just took took off the draw... Because the way the draw system works is you draw, like, spells and stuff off the enemy. So you're just sitting there drawing and taking damage. And then it all it's only per character. It's not like a group thing. So you'd have to do it for each individual character for each individual spell, which maxes out at 99. And you only get you get a minimum you, you, honestly, you may not even get anything when you draw it. So you could get you could draw you and get nothing. Do you have increased defenses for it? No. You don't even get like increased magic defense for doing it? Nope. And the only increase you get is if you had already drawn this. Say you have Thunder. You can. This is where the other system comes in, the Junction system. You can, uh, and you have a Summon, um, which I forget what they call it in those games. Um, you can Junction the Summon to a, to you, and then Junction a stat to a certain, or Junction a spell to a certain stat. So you could do Thunder to health, and it would give you a certain amount of points or something like that. So. If you did that and didn't have 99 and were drawing more thunders, you would be increasing your stat at that point. But in t until you junction it, which you can't do unless it's in between battles, um, you're just sitting there taking hits. And then think of it, you have seven characters by the end of the game. So you have to do that. If you want to like fully maximize everything, nine, you have to get 99 with each spell for each character. So 99 for like a ton of spells, at least 30 different spells. I think the big guy was Garden City, by the way. Yeah, I just wanted to... I forgot about the map on this on the bomb screen for a second, honestly. Mm -hmm. They're right, yeah. But yeah, no, that's... It's just the draw system is the weakest part of that game. Everything else is fine. Although, yeah, I... Like, there's more benefits actually doing it instead of just, like, soaking damage for hopeful payoff, then I, I can actually see use for it. Yeah. But if, but if you don't even know you're getting any payout of that, like, why would you? There is one thing with the story I didn't really like, and that's the fact that, um... Well, A, there's not a lot of payoff in certain things. But, um... There, there's two characters. There's Squall, the main character, and, and the love interest, Renoa. I love Renoa. But the reason those two, like, get together is so dumb. Because in the beginning, they start out dancing. She's like, okay, I, I picked you because you're attractive, which is fine. You know, they just met, and it was for a dance. Like, that's fine. But she, like, pers he's actively, like, trying to push her away throughout the whole game until, like, the midway point. And she's, like, never giving up on him for no reason. Like, reasonably, she should not have consistently or constantly been going after him. 
And then he finally starts showing interest, like, at that halfway point. Like, oh, I cared about you so much. Yeah, I was just trying to push people away as I always cause trouble. It's like, okay, sure, that's a thing people do. But she should not have actively been pursuing him for that long. It's just, it was just the only thing that yeah. irked me. Yeah, I still liked the two of them by the end. They have a really cute moment uh, to, like, it, around the three-quarter part in the game. But God, that I, there was a lot of pain in between then. Yeah, it's just... There was no reason she should have been actively after him for that long. I am going to grab Metal Slash just in case. I mean, if we can get Oomph, that'd be nice. Oh, true, yeah. No, just put more points so I can get Oomph in my, the next one. 19, Jesus. Uh, well, let's just get the increase there. Also, I learned the maximum is 50 for each stat. Uh, for, like, the base ones. When you get to, like, the next tier, like, for example, Prison Bang 2, its max is 75. Oh. And then the next one after that is 100. But by then, you've already essentially gotten the best of the best of that out of it. So. Makes sense. I mean, if you really want to maximize, you would make this game super easy, but we're not really after maximization here. Or you could, or you could just be making things needlessly complicated. Obsidian, Hello, Obsidian Sword. Obsidian Sword. In video games, Obsidian is amazing. In real life, Obsidian is very sharp, but not very strong. Right yeah. Apparently, Obsidian is one of the sharpest things you could, you could make. Yeah, but it loses its edge quickly. <laughs> That's a pretty decent increase. And it's also lethal to metal monsters. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, let's, can I give you the steel broadsword? Yes, you can. Just increase our damage all around. The yeah, is pretty, to too. I have, a little be lethal. <laughs> I have a little obsidian Bulbasaur that my ex gave me that I will never get rid of because it is just really well made. And I love it. And it's also extremely smooth. But I am worried the slightest chip is gonna fucking bleed me dry. Yeah, things like that you just do not want to mess with much. I mean, I'm careful with it. I hold it and I'm like moving around and stuff. But I don't like. I'm not like aggressive with it. Ugh. Okay, so that so. Okay, it's up there. It looks like. Um, how do I? Condor. I have enjoyed, enjoyed this game. I I appreciate doing an RPG that has brighter colors. You know what I noticed? Um, my TV has a higher saturation for some reason. Uh, so playing Sun and Moon, when I, or not Sun and Moon, when I was playing Scarlet Violet, it was really like, writes me, but then I look at the actual footage and I see how like dull and muted the colors actually are. Pokemon, just turn the saturation up. Just make your games brighter. I don't know why they're so, like, not colorful. No, uh... It, no, I'm not Sun and Moon. Um, Scarlet Violet. I said Sun and Moon, but I meant yeah, to say Scarlet yeah, Violet. Yeah, Scarlet and Violet, I think, has something to do with the, how the, they light the game. Maybe something's not right. And like, the, the lighting and textures also, like, have something to do with it, because... Even, like, something as, like, Magnemite isn't allowed to be as vibrant as they used to be. Magnemite I can kind of get, though, being a steel ball, and they actually have the reflectiveness on there. Yeah, but, like, I think they go too far on the reflectiveness. Like, it's, it can just be dull, you know? I guess. Sea of life. I guess it's I can start... Metal doesn't mean it has to be, like, a mirror polish. I guess I can start using those soon, because I... I'm pretty much pretty sure this is going to be our endgame team. Uh, Merman might swap into something else. And maybe we'll... And hey, maybe we fuse the ooze into something else. Who knows? He, he he might, but I don't think we'll do anything. Uh, hey! They ain't having none of it. Alright, you want some? I love that. <laughs> we basically got two tanks here, because Killy is very good at uh, taking damage. Oh, he's mad too. Uh -oh. Why are you always affected by everything? 
Oh, damn! I I was surprised that did much that much damage. Magic, magic tends to be a lot more dangerous the more like higher tiered magic you get. <laughs> and keep in mind, that's only Frizzle. That's level two out of four. <laughs> There's still no. Cuff Frizz and Cuff Frizzle that you could be that he could eventually maybe learn. No, well, maybe he will. I just want to get the feeling I doubt that though. Uh, oh, um, uh, I could, I, okay. All right. <laughs> I clearly was not on a wall there, but all right, whatever. I kind of like this beetle dude. Not not the one that one, but the other little one. Yeah. Critical. Damn. Yeah, this dude. I kind of like a beetle boy. I ain't gonna take him though, cause oh, he's po oh, I forgot you could do that. Yeah, his basic attacks have a chance to poison. Very useful. It's not Pokemon poison, but you know, I'll take it. I mean, poison Pokemon poison is also situationally you, useful. You well, toxic's always useful. You know what I meant though. Or at least you should have known what I meant. Well, considering okay. it's basically the same thing as the ability, no. Hmm. I want to go up there before I go down there. Going up. Yep. Might as well explore. We haven't been to this island. It's the last one, so. Oh. Oh, hey. Thankfully, I think extras we get of this is basically just, just money. All right. Well, hopefully they self reduce them now. I thought I might have had to interact with that. I appreciate they didn't do the whole animation again because we already had the ten. There was no point in doing it again. Imagine I... it said, "But you already have ten. Let's put this back." <laughs> After playing the animation. I would be so annoyed. I feel like there's a game that does that, and I can't think of what it is. I mean, Legend of Zelda kind of does it. If your wallet, it just does not have the space for rupees. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's, yep, that must be what I'm thinking of. It's been a bit bit since i played a Zelda game. Might have to do that soon. I still want to do TP without collecting a single heart piece. <laughs> well, that's on you. When I play TP, yeah, I'm, going, I'm going for full experience. I mean, no, fair enough. It's just like... It's my favorite one, so if there's what was what gonna be one of them I would do it for, it'd be that one. Mm -hmm. Blue and heck, who left all this here then? Let's put some muscles into it. That's not how they would sound, but you know, it's the best I could do. Chop, no. chop. At a, at a moment's notice, that's the best I could do. That actually works because... out perfectly, because we're at time. <laughs> that, that worked out perfectly, actually. Yeah, literally that shortcut that was at the beginning. Oh, wait. Uh, oh, by the way, did you actually end up using that book from the... From the uh, I don't think you used the book from the Great Worm or Dragon. Oh. Is that in our items? It should be in our bag. I don't know why there's two separate menus for this. Because the hand is where you can actually use stuff in battle. That's See, why. Whistle for Dummies, a mystic tone that teaches Whistle. What does this do? I'm not familiar with this spell. Uh, think of it as Sweet Set in the Field. Oh, so I can summon things. Alright, yes. well, not probably not something I'll use unless I'm actively hunting for something. Wait, real quick, where do I sell items? I forget. Uh, probably the vending machine. Cool, I want to see how much the Darkonium sells for. I feel like it's either going to be a lot or, like, nothing. Okay. Yeah, that's quite a lot. <laughs> I don't need it, so... Um... I mean, we don't really need these weaker weapons anymore. Yeah. I think I still hold on to the Sacred Spear, just in case, but these other ones... Don't need the. Oh wait, hold on. I think I have two. Yeah, I do.
Uh, I'll hold on to those just in case. I haven't used the whips. The whips are pretty not helpful. I yeah, I personally don't like them either because they're essentially just a basic attack that deals that damage to all monsters in front of you. And so far, the they only thing I've noticed more useful in the actual main games where you can have so many more than just the five, like the three enemies in front of you. But here's yeah. like. Eh, I'd rather just focus on one monster and be able to, like, thin the herd. Oh, that's not what I wanted. I was like, I need to go buy things. I go to the person that synthesizes the set of things that I'm standing at that I buy things at. Uh, Dragon Lance. Uh, we want to give it to Mr. Grack. And that basically topped off our team. <laughs> All right, then. We actually got a lot done in this episode. So with that, we will, uh, next time we'll explore the rest of the island and can probably start the dungeon. I think. I think I so. Know. We'll see you. Bye.